are my three tips for PCOS. And of course, if you are suffering with polycystic ovaries and you've got pain, this is for you. Tip number one is to limit your carbohydrate intake. So every time that you're spiking your blood glucose levels, this can lead to not only leptin resistance, which often comes before the insulin resistance and really balancing those hormones is gonna be really important for that PCOS. Tip number two, do a full body detox. And I recommend doing this with herbal medicines and at least three to four times per year to help to alleviate that toxic load. We know that the liver has a lot to do with the processing of our hormones, as does the ability for our body to eliminate that extra estrogen and of course the other hormones as well through the digestive tract and through our elimination. Really important to do that full body detox to always stay ahead of that toxicity, which of course we have all around us in our environment. Okay, tip number three for PCOS is to use an acupuncture point. And this is fantastic for any type of pain that you may be going through with PCOS. It's also great for cramping, ladies, if you've got menstrual cramps. And it's known as spleen number six in traditional Chinese medicine, and that's the acupuncture point. I'm gonna show how to actually use this point in acupressure to be able to alleviate any type of pain that you've got with your PCOS. And of course, this can come and go, but this is on on the spot treatment to help to alleviate some of that block chi or energy in the spleen channel, which is very much related to what's going on in the ovaries. Okay, so the way that you find spleen six is you're going to find your medial malleolus. You can do this on either leg. So in this case, I'm using my right leg and my left hand. You're gonna find that middle bone that is sticking up on your ankle, the one that is sticking up, okay? So you're gonna find that bone in the middle of that bone. So at the peak of that bone, you're going to put your pinky finger of your opposite hand on top of that bone. So again, this is my right leg, my left hand, and where your fingers end up, that is roughly the point where spleen six is located. Now, the way that you really find the point is you're gonna dig around a little bit in that area. Often it's quite painful when you've got that stuck energy or stuck chi, and you have the, that painful PCOS. So you're gonna dig around, you're gonna find that spot, and then you're just gonna do little circular motions to activate that energy, that chi in that point, release any stuck energy, really amazing for any type of pain and cramping. So I want you to do that for one to two minutes. You can come back and do this if the pain comes back or if it subsides and then comes back again. You go to your spleen number six. You can actually mark it. So what we used to do in school when we were finding our acupuncture points, we just get a pen or whatever and just mark that spot. You've got the X there. You don't have to find it again. You're just gonna start to massage that in little circles. So I want you to practice this. Please let me know how it works for you in the comments. And for more tips on how to reverse leptin resistance, please check out my video, Nine Tips to Reverse Leptin Resistance. I'll see you there.